Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. Uh, as you know, if you've been following the channel, I've been busy with construction out here, and uh, that's primarily why I haven't been posting as many videos lately. Uh, but anyway, uh, to aid in my construction activities, I went and bought an old backhoe, and so I thought it might be worthwhile to do a short episode on uh, what I've learned about backhoe controls. Now, on a standard backhoe, you've got basically four motions to control. You've got your bucket rotation, your dipper rotation, your boom elevation, and your boom swing. Now, every major backhoe manufacturer has a little bit different control scheme for articulating these four motions. Uh, I'm given to understand that both John Deere and Caterpillar use a uh, control scheme with two dual axis levers, basically two joysticks, that give you a total of four motions to control the four motions of the backhoe. On a case machine like this, you've got three separate levers to control the bucket rotation, the dipper rotation, and the boom elevation respectively, and then you've got foot pedals to control the boom swing. Now, I have a cousin who works in construction, runs heavy machinery for a living, and back when I was looking for a backhoe, he kind of warned me about the case controls, that those foot pedals just don't give you the same uh, level of control or precision that a hand lever would, um, but due to pricing and availability or availability of backhoes within my limited budget, uh, I ended up going with a case anyway. Um, and overall, I like the simplicity of the case controls. I like having one lever per axis on the, the three motions of the arm, but I have to concede that my cousin was right about the foot pedals. However, the way the foot pedals are set up, they have some kind of a mechanical interlock so that when one goes down, the other one automatically goes up. And so what I was able to do is just make an additional lever, weld it onto one of the foot pedals, and now I can still use the foot pedals if I want to, but I've got a hand lever to control the boom swing as well. It was only yesterday that I welded my boom swing control lever to the foot pedal. Um, it'll take me some time to get used to using it and realize its full potential, but already I feel like it gives me better control over the boom swing than I had before just using the foot pedals, and yet the foot pedals remain fully functional should I choose to use them at any point in the future. Um, so it's a simple modification that, to my mind, seems to greatly enhance the uh, controls of a case backhoe. 
kind of makes me wonder why it doesn't come standard on case backhoes. So uh, I guess if you happen to know any engineers who work for case equipment manufacturing company, uh, please share this video with them. In any case, thanks for watching the Idaho Show.